So, you're thinking about buying an Akia in Japan because the home prices in your country are skyrocketing. Yes, some houses in Japan are cheap, but many of them require extensive renovation. What if you could buy an abandoned house in Japan on the cheap, but you didn't have to pay for renovation? Would you do it? Imagine a company that not only renovates abandoned houses, but also does it at no upfront cost. Yes, you heard that right. Those companies do exist in Japan, and I'm going to talk about how this scheme actually works and what you need to know before working with them. A quick disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video. None of these companies are paying me to do this. I'm just sharing my observations and the information I provide will hopefully be helpful for you. If you're new here, my name is Shu. In this channel, I talk about real estate investing, financial freedom, and Japan. If you enjoy the content on this channel, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Before I begin, I have a gift for you. If you want to learn how to buy an Akia, cheap abandoned houses in Japan as a foreigner, I put together a free guide that will Will help you own your dream house or get started with real estate investing in Japan. Click the link below in the description. Now let's get started. As you may already know, the number of empty houses in Japan has been on the rise, especially in rural areas. Expert estimates the number of empty homes in Japan are between 8 and 11 million today. While this seems like a major problem for the country, some see it as a major opportunity in the Japanese housing market. There are a number of companies that not only renovate abandoned houses but also do it at no upfront cost to the owner of the Akia. These are called Akia Katsuyo Jigyo, which translates to Akia Utilization Business. And they follow a similar business model that goes something like this. So you bought an abandoned house in Japan for really cheap, but it also needs a renovation and you don't have a large budget to renovate your Akia. You work with one of these companies and if they take you in as a client, they'll renovate your house and find a tenant for you at no upfront cost. And one of the major Akia Utilization Businesses is called Aksapo, which I featured in a couple of my short videos. So let's dive deeper into what this particular company is about and how its business model is structured. Aksapo is an innovative Japanese company on a mission to bring life back to abandoned houses across Japan. Their goal is not just to revitalize abandoned homes, but also to foster a sense of community and sustainability. Their passion lies in societal contribution by helping solve the big Akia problem that Japan is facing. Let's talk about this no upfront cost model. How does this actually work? Say you have an abandoned house that you dream of turning into a rental property, but the financial burden seems overwhelming. The cost of renovation can be very steep in Japan. I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars, if not more. Here's where Aksapo steps in with their no upfront cost model. They cover all the initial renovation expenses themselves so that you, as the owner, don't need to pay anything upfront. Okay, so how do they do it, you ask? Well, it's a smart model for the right customer. Aksapo works with partner companies who see the potential in reviving these abandoned properties. These partner companies finance the renovations and once the house is rented, for a period of time, the costs are recovered along with a small management fee. This way, Aksapo and the homeowners share the success of the revitalization project. But wait a second, how does this no upfront cost really work? Is it like free? Well, there is no such thing as free lunch, right? Someone has to pay for it. The question is who? The short answer, it's you. So how this business works is that they'll have the client sign a lease agreement to use the property as they want for a minimum of a few years. So they'll become your tenant and they sublease the property to a new tenant. So they will take a portion of the payment that their tenant pays to make sure that they're getting back the cost of renovation and make a profit for themselves. So they will control the rent they will charge to the new tenant and the amount they will pay back to you. So you're basically paying them with the future rental income that they generate using your property as an asset. Let's talk about how to go about working with a company like Aksapo. Here are seven steps that you need to know about their process. Step one, inquiry. Once you have an empty property that you want renovated and rented out, you fill out an inquiry form or call them to see if they can take you in as a client. What I mean by having an empty house is that you must be the owner of the property already. So you need to find and buy an Akia first before reaching out to work with one of these companies. Step two, initial consultation. Once your inquiry has been accepted, a representative will reach out to you to hear more about your specific needs and situations to see if they can actually help you. This consultation can happen between two to three days after you submit your application. Step three, site survey. Within a week, a team will visit your property to assess the conditions and also evaluate the neighborhood to get enough information in order for them to create their proposal to you. Step four, proposal. Within two months, you will hear back with a proposal based on the site survey. They will make a proposal based on your wishes after considering the property's conditions and surrounding 
funding environment. Step five, application. If you agree to the proposal, you will fill out a form and submit a formal application to work with the company. Step six, contract. The company will draft a formal agreement for you to review and sign. Basically, you will lease out your property to the company for a certain period of time and the company will renovate it and sublease it to a tenant who will live in the property. And step seven, rent payment begins. Once the company places a tenant, you will start to receive a portion of the rental income they collect from their tenant. The duration of this whole process varies depending on the location and conditions of the property, but you can expect it to take a minimum of six months from start to finish. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of working with an Akia utilization company. As for the benefits, there are a few. The first is that there is no upfront cost to you for renovation and managing the business, so it requires zero capital to get started. In a way, it's truly passive once you make an agreement with one of these companies to work together. The second benefit is peace of mind. You're not involved in the renovation or the day-to-day -day of managing the property after it gets rented out. You can just sit back and collect passive income. And the third benefit is that there is a good chance the property will hold its value with renovation and being used as a rental property. The worst thing you can do to a property's value is to leave it vacant for a long time. Not only the value depreciate quickly, but the maintenance costs will also increase. Okay, now let's talk about the cons of working with these companies. First, a lack of control. How this subleasing model works is that once you agree on the terms with the subleasing company, you have very little control about what they do to the property. You won't be able to increase the rent price or the percentage of the income you get from them. Second, because the downside is very low, the upside is also very limited. What you'll take home is going to be significantly smaller than if you manage this process yourself. And the third and possibly the biggest downside is that most of these companies can't handle non-Japanese speakers because they're not their target customers. So until they recognize the untapped potential of foreigners wanting to buy these Akia homes, in Japan, they may not focus their efforts on catering to non-Japanese speaking prospects. So the question is, who is this for? There's only one group of people I recommend this whole service for. If you already own an Akia and don't want to do anything to it because it's only costing you money to keep it, working with one of these Akia utilization companies will be beneficial for you. Essentially, they'll turn your liability into an asset so the return on your investment is basically infinite, especially if it didn't cost you to acquire the property. In fact, these companies were founded to serve Akia owners who have inherited their deceased parents' home and don't want anything to do with those empty houses because they live far away. They got a house for free, but they have no intention to move back into it and it costs money to just keep it. By working with one of these companies, not only will they not have to worry about maintenance costs, but they will have passive income. It's really a win-win situation. And on top of that, they're part of solving the big Akia problem Japan is facing. So who is this not for? This is not for you if you're an investor who's looking to to buy an Akia with an intention to make a profit as a rental property. If that's the case, you won't get much return on your investment by working with an Akia utilization company. You might ask, what if you get these Akia for free? You said Japan is giving away these free houses in the past video. Well, those free or dirt cheap houses are usually located in the rural parts of Japan and the chances of them getting rented out are probably slim even after renovation. And Akia utilization companies might not want to work with you if that's the case. Also, this is not for you if you don't speak the language, understand the culture, or have access to people who can act as your interpreter or intermediary. As far as I'm concerned, there is no Akia utilization company who can handle non-Japanese speakers directly as of today. To summarize, if you're someone who lives outside of Japan and is looking to build a rental portfolio by buying and fixing Akia, this is not a good model for you. So what should you do? Here's what I would recommend. Buy Akia first, find a company to renovate, and run the business for you without subleasing it. Take full ownership, pay for your own renovation, operating costs, and run the business effectively by hiring a capable team. The upfront cost might be higher, but the return will be a lot higher as long as you have the right team in place who can do all this work for you. Here's something I learned about business. You have to have skin in the game. When you do, you care more, you try harder, and you take big risks. And when you do those things, you tend to get much bigger rewards. There you have it. I hope this video helped you understand how these Akia utilization businesses in Japan work, the pros and cons, and what you might want to do if you're thinking of buying abandoned houses in Japan on the cheap. If you're interested in buying cheap properties in Japan, tell us where in Japan you're thinking of and why. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with two people who might benefit from this. Again, don't forget to download the free guide how to buy an Akia in Japan as a foreigner and watch this video next for more. See you in the next one.